Okay, so over the Power Morphicon weekend, I'm so old, we came up with a brilliant idea called Stunt Cops. These are the Stunt Cop vlogs for Saturday, August something something. So, all right. So, I think there'll be three guys, right? Uh huh. Well, why don't we explain the uh, the plot, the, the concept of Stunt Cops here? Yes. So, we're thinking Stunt Cops would be a fake show that never existed. Uh huh. <laughs> and we would create a website and assorted YouTube videos to convince people that Stunt Cops was a uh, a show that was that actually aired between 1978 to 1984. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the plot involves three um, stuntmen who get recruited by the government to act as a special response team to stop terrorists and drug dealers and, uh, you know, various ne'er-do-wells. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Yes. Who use the power of stunts <laughs> in order to uh, save the day right. and punish evil here. <laughs> yes. Oh. There has to be a circus episode because right. circuses and stunts go together. There has to be one in the jungle. Yeah. There must be a Bigfoot episode. Right, right. We discussed that. Let's not forget our episode where uh, they're filming a Jaws ripoff, but it's really a cover for local terrorism. Right, right. With the remote control sharks. Can't forget that. Yeah. Right. So, uh, what do we call that one? You know, stay out of the water or something like that. Or uh, Sharky Shark. <laughs> Sharky Shark. Sharky Shark. Yeah. Very cool. Or... So that has to end with uh, jet skis and uh -huh. the uh, remote control shark, sharks chasing the jet ski, and then the guy like jumps off a wave and gets sick air and jumps over the bad guy's yacht, where his own remote control shark hits the yacht and blows him up and kills him. Yeah, you know, exactly. So now, didn't we say that we wanted Doug McClure to play one of the stunt sharks, mm. uh, stunt uh, cops? Well. I'm thinking it should be, if we use real actors, uh -huh. they should be actors who are deceased. Because then people can't ask them if they were actually in the show like or Doug not. Like Doug McClure. Doug McClure. Yeah. You know. Oh, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So we should film little snippets, uh -huh. right? Oh, we don't have to like put it straight, <laughs> straight in my face yeah. here. To like try to convince people that like these are small like uh like lost footage type things yeah like uh those like crappy eight millimeter films they yeah. sell at uh, grocery stores back in the 70s totally totally yeah or, like some that like we'll, we'll transfer it to video and then re-rip it uh -huh. and then transfer it again so that it looks all messed up with the lines through it and everything yeah yeah so it like looks all authentic like oh somebody actually did record this off the vhs thing like it has like a little date counter up on the side or yeah something. exactly so we can we can even make some of it look look as bad as like uh, rough cut footage similar to the alien autopsy. Yeah, so, yeah, really yeah. all messed up and like you know this is the last yeah. existent footage of uh, yeah episode. Yeah, yeah and we we can even like not only original footage but even take like stock footage from like obscure public domain movies and try to re <laughs> try to do it. Yeah, reincorporate it as something you know. we do. Yeah. Like this is the the last footage from episode 127, Thunder Down Under, <laughs> or something, and it's like you know he's using a boomerang to fight off like, like you know like they'll be like kangaroos with like dynamite strapped to them <laughs> that are being mind controlled. Right, right. You know so, by like uh, now, the guy's got like boomerangs and like throwing them, and like another dude's like you know something uh -huh. like that, and, like or maybe like he just like picks up a crocodile <laughs> and it just holds it. <laughs> and like runs the crocodiles like chomping and like uses it to like fight off a killer kangaroo. You know, it's something really, really stupid. And, right, right, right. You know. <laughs> we mentioned the episode where they go to space with a dirt space. bike that a dirt bike that uh, defies a uh, uh, cosmic law. Right, right. So there'll be so when when um yeah like they should go to like the moon. And then have a dirt bike that can somehow work in the back of the space, right? <laughs> and they have to like I don't know, go there to rescue somebody or some shit. You know, like maybe there's a moon base and they have to rescue the moon astronauts or whatever. Right, right. And they have to use the power of stunts in order to do it. 
and then uh, the bad guy tries to strand uh, strand the hero there. Tries to strand him on the moon. He's like, "Good luck," you know, and gets in his like like super advanced space shuttle for 1978 or whatever, <laughs> you know, that has artificial gravity and all the shit. Yeah, that like exist. like something right out of uh, space 1999. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And then uh, so he so he gets out on his you know it's like you're not getting away yet. He gets in his motorbike and is riding on the moon and goes down a crater and then shoots up out of the crater like on the other side like it's a ramp and then uses that uh -huh. to like fly up and grab onto the space shuttle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then like, you know, fight his way inside. And there has to be robots too. And robot. they should be like a robot that's like in that Buck Rogers one, that really annoying, you know, yeah, robot. Yeah, yeah. Like one of those that he has to blow up or like <laughs> punch in the face or now, something. Now, would there be an isolated separate episode of Hulk and a Robot on Earth? Well, maybe, should, um, yeah, I guess you could have one where like, uh, like something really like bad in 80s looking, like one of those like helper bots with like the one arm that comes uh -huh. out, you know. And you had a remote control that you could like tell to go around and get your drinks. All right. How you doing, man? Something like that. Uh huh. Where it goes, uh, where it goes a buck, and they have to like fight it somehow, or you know, maybe that could be like the skateboard episode, like. Like he gets a skateboard and he like puts buzz saws on it, uh -huh. and then like so he can like ollie up and like chop off a robot's head with his like buzz saw skateboard, you know, something right. like that. There has to be at least one episode where they go to a skate park, yeah, and use the power of skateboarding to like thwart evil. Yeah, this, uh, the help the help the local skateboarding kids from like uh, the local robber baron mm -hmm. or something like that. He's gonna he's gonna shut down the skate park in order to like you know. Yeah. Build a fucking I don't know oil oil you know, refinery. Build a toxic waste factory yeah. or some shit <laughs> where they just make toxic waste. And the robber baron should be like uh, like a famous celebrity doing a guest appearance, like, uh, <laughs> like uh, Robert Redford or something. Like yeah. his final role, you know. Yeah, I was thinking more like uh, who who played um, um oh uh, god in the Odd Couple, hmm. and he was in Hello Dolly. That old guy. Oh god, I don't even know. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about, right? He was yeah. in Grumpier Old Men. Or who's so. the dude? Oh, you mean um Jack Lemon? Or the other dude? The other dude. Uh, I can't remember his name. But yeah. yeah. Walter Matho. Walter Matho, yeah, totally. Yeah. As the uh, as the industrialist, right? <laughs> it wants to maybe okay, okay. They find oil in the middle of downtown LA or whatever. Uh-huh. Right underneath the skate park. Yes we do, right? You know. Oh. And uh, the skate park is like, oh, you got it? Yeah. Uh, but this is the only thing that are keeping the local kids off of drugs. Yeah. See, or else they would like immediately go out and join gangs if they don't like have a skateboard. Yeah. At one you point, know? at one point, um, the local doctor shows them what what happened before the skate park. Yeah. And it just plays like stock footage from Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like zombies and shit. Totally. And then you know. Then the industrialist guy hires the gang, right? Because uh -huh. since they're bad, they're just they must obviously work for him. Yeah, yeah. You know, to go like beat everybody up and threaten them and stuff. And then the stunt cops have to come and use the power of awesome skateboarding. And like, like he could go down a thing and then pop up and do a big twist and like shoot the board out and like hit the gang member in the head. And then like another guy could have like a bulletproof like skateboard. So uh -huh. the dude has a machine gun and he goes Ollie and it shoots up and it like deflects all the bullets. You know, stuff like that. Right, you know, right. Be, like totally cool. Another guy could do like a kickflip and like knock the guy's legs out of him. You know, and then maybe another guy has rockets on his skateboard so like there's a car chase. And he's just like using his rocket skateboard to like, you know, shh, right, uh -huh. going off of cars, going off like, like all kinds of stuff. Of course, this will all be lost. We'll have to like just, you know, miraculously find the, uh, the yeah. storyboards for all this. Yeah. Or like right. uh, uh, snippets from the script mm. with like a lot of like a lot of fake coffee stains. Uh, totally. Over, yeah. And then a few of the episodes will have uh, audio only <laughs> that was recorded. You know, so we'll recreate it with like, you know, production stills or uh -huh. I think we'll just recreate it like we'll use Lego figures. <laughs> like this is what we have in order to recreate this episode. Yeah, or, or this we is can, exactly what happened. Or we can go really right. cheap and just have like a, a button you just press to listen to the audio file, like <laughs> on a lot of old websites. And it could be all messed up. Yeah, exactly. Know? And then so. we should film some and like have them be like dubbed and like 
you know, like I was thinking like Esperanto. Like this is the last 10 minutes of, uh, you know, episode 243, like, you know, Attack of the Killer, like, I don't know, something, you know, yeah, yeah. Attack of the Killer Clowns or whatever, you know, and it's like, just a bunch of clowns, and, but it's an Esperanto. It's like, what the fuck? And it shouldn't even really be Esperanto. It should just be some made-up language. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, hey, can I like, hold on my ass? You know, clowns, clowns. <laughs> right. Something like that. Right, right. So, that would be awesome. Yeah. And they will make a bunch of rumors about how, like, someplace in, like, you know, South America or, like, you know, Australia or some shit, like, somebody yeah. discovered a bunch of, like, videotapes with episodes and they never come out. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, it's like the recurring gag about the drummer and Spinal Tap, the show's cursed. Because I... If somebody finds them, they die, right? Yeah, they, yeah. Because I had the, I had the, uh, the idea that we, we have, like, an old Polaroid of, like, a guy with a box full of VHS tapes saying, this, this man, Samuel McBeckett, he <laughs> was very fortunate in uh, finding uh, master videos for stunt cops. But on his way to the uh, web, webmaster's house, he died in a car crash, and all the episodes were lost. So, all right. Okay, Mark briefly left, so I'm gonna share a couple of ideas for stunt cops, uh, just for archival reasons. Okay, so we thought about one episode where they go into the woods to help a bunch of lost uh, Boy Scouts. Uh, and for the most part, we play the episode straight. Maybe one of the kids gets poison ivy, but it's like a very extreme case of poison ivy. So, and then like, like in the last 15 minutes of the episode, a Bigfoot appears and battles our heroes. And that's the only way they can save the little kids who are trapped in a cave. Um, there was an episode where, for this fake website we're thinking, we're going to have um, a subsection of the website called the Lost Lost Episodes. These were like five or eight episodes of the original series that was lost before the rest of the series got lost. So, like I said, it's just this whole thing is just cursed. Um, I, I can, um, there's an episode where a bunch of gorillas get loose. Oh, so there's just gorillas all over the city, and that just gives a give a chance for like Bob Burns to just show up in every at every scene as a different gorilla, and we can incorporate tons of like screenshots of gorilla-based episodes from like Mash and Wonder Woman and I Dream a Genie, you know, because there was a lot of gorillas in those shows. Um, maybe like a lot of crappy com- like obscure comic books. Um, crossovers between uh, um, stunt cops and things like uh, Blimp Boy or like uh, Jumbo Boy. I forgot the name of the obscure combo character. But like we're talking like really obscure stuff that would even fly with Gold Key Comics. So what else could we do? Um, probably an episode with a sea serpent, but it turns out it's just a submarine that's dressed up as a sea serpent, piloted by a crew of sexy mermaids. Uh, who are doing it to, like, I don't know, save the local church or something. Um, what other dumb ideas do we have? Oh, <laughs> well, that, that's all I can think of at the moment, so.